This strange looking egg device is called the Sony Rolly. Now if you haven't seen one before then it's not entirely obvious what it is or does. I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration, reveal its functions and eventually take it apart. First, what is it? Well, this is a dancing music player from 2007 and often regarded as one of the weirdest things Sony has made. If you just load music and ask Rolly to dance, the moves are okay but somewhat simple. The best Rolly dances are ones which are pre-choreographed to music. You can see one that I did in my previous video. A better intermediate option is to use the Windows Rolly software to automatically pre-analyze your music and then Rolly does a decent enough dance. We can see that here with Rolly dancing to World of Silence. Let's have a closer look at the basics. When holding Rolly sideways, the top wheel changes the tracks. Group two. Group one. The bottom wheel adjusts volume. On the top is the play or dance button. Press once to play or twice to dance. Two contact points on the bottom connect to the charging dock. On the bottom is the battery compartment. The battery door is weighted to keep Rolly upright when moving. There is a power switch for on off and Bluetooth speaker mode, a mini USB port for uploading music using Sonic Stage software. A word of warning Sonic Stage was made to satisfy music publishers, not music listeners, which explains its restrictive nature. This particular Rolly is the SEP10, Japanese version with 1GB of storage. Remember, this is 2007 we're talking about. With Rolly available in black or white, the Japanese version only works with Japanese Windows software, which only likes to be installed on Japanese Windows. The English Rolly is the second model, has 2GB of memory, with a model number of SEP30, if you have or get a Rolly, especially the Japanese version, and can't read Japanese, then I highly recommend the fan page, sonyrolly.net. All the software is available there for all models and a selection of music tracks with pre-programmed dance moves. The Japanese version seemed to be more common. There was a third model released in Japan, the SEP50 with 2GB, which was also available in metallic pink. This colour remains the rarest Rolly, except for possibly the prototype versions, which were transparent. These were not on sale though. Also rare are the changeable coloured end caps in red, blue and silver. Interestingly, a non-Sony clone called iQbot with 4GB came out after Rolly and was so similar that it looks like it was licensed, or maybe they had help from Sony. They also featured a built-in screen. Okay, let's look at the software that came with Rolly. Here's the Motion Designer software, in this case in Japanese, to match the model here. On the left, a 3D animation that demonstrates the motions as you are creating the moves. Next, there are several rows from top to bottom. At the top is the music track displayed visually, then two rows for the cut movements, two rows for shoulder movements, two for the wheels, and at the bottom are the two LEDs or lamps as Sony likes to call them. By clicking on the rows we can change Rolly's positions, movement and lamp colours. By moving the position slider along we can see Rolly moving and pressing play we can see the sequence along with the music. Here is the 2001 theme played with the motion designer. 
Designing movements is not that hard, but getting them exactly right can take time. If there were more motion songs available for Rolly, then maybe it could have been a bit more popular. However, it wasn't, and the original $400 price tag certainly didn't help. And that is Rolly, one of Sony's weirdest devices.